body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood. Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Because the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. Hello, and welcome. I could have sworn I had a Red Bull with me. But hello, my computer did weird things, but now we're back. And hello. Los and hellos. All right. I'll pop to go find it really quick. I, I left it somewhere. Hey, yeah, I'm talking to you. You connect to the net, right? Well, I wouldn't if I were in your shoes. Corporations say the new net is All right, L listen to this for a second. I'll be right back. Hey, Leaf. I'll be right back, okay? From up in their ivory towers, everything must look all nice and pretty. But they're wrong. The net is just a rusty car with a fresh coat of paint, a heap of dog shit spritzed with perfume. The demons we released into the net have not gone anywhere. Deadly viruses, artificial intelligences that exist. Hello, I left in the restroom. Oh no. Consumed in the net's tangled webs, their minds lost to the void. All right, we are rocking and rolling right now. Let's head on down to Pacifica. 
This is what I was about to do before my stuff went kerplooey. And kerplooey. I'll be all night long here. I was only live for about two hours earlier, so I'll be live forever coming up. Here we go. So here we are, everybody. Let's have a good time. I'm going to be driving a little bit. Expertly. Welcome to Little China. I've been memorizing these streets. I can't wait until they add more content. It'd be an opportunity to memorize everything again. Saburo. See, I didn't see that sign before. Right over here. I'll hang a right. Doesn't really matter at this point. Yes. And here we are. There's the afterlife to my right. I'll be taking a left. You know what? Let me go around this way. Sorry. I'm going to go by way of uh, the downtown sector of the city center and by way of Wellspring. Right over here on the edge. I'm pretty sure this highway. Hey there, Mars. How's it going? Okay, here we go down to the city center. With some piano to go. Let's make sure my buttons work. Alright, good. My buttons work, yeah. So I could do this if I wanted to. My buttons. I have like a little control panel with buttons on it. It's pretty fun. Oh yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going straight across all the way down to Pacifica. I have to take a right sorter. And then a left. Nice and clean streets of the city center. Yeah. Now we're in the Glen. I have to head to the right a bit. I don't want to cu get caught into a loop or anything. Let's look around. Melotech. Interesting. The, I think, City Corp or Night Corp, whatever it's called, they specialize in the overall city infrastructure, I believe. So we're trying to head down to Pacifica by way of Wellspring. Here we go. I'm taking a left up here. Change that radio station for a second. Supreme indeed. Yes, indeed, Carlos. Thank you for noticing. It's um, th there's a new update, a recent update called the like that right there. How good that lighting is on that building. You know, the, the transition of light between the shadows and hot spots and all that. That's sort of why. Well, that's. Half of the reason why I'm streaming this is, is to demonstrate this new graphics mode. It, it has full path tracing, which means that there's an unlimited number of reflections and uh, light counts and emission sources. Whoa. Yeah. Look at that water. Woohoo! 
We are now entering Pacifica. The unfinished Pacifica. be gone if you don't like this sort of thing. enemies right over here. Some scabs, you know. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yes. Deep doo doo. Uh, uh. See that? Hey, that blow my leg! <laughs> yeah. Woo! Exciting. this way. The veteran of what war? The Unification Wars? Which one? Corporate War? Ozob is here, ready to fight. Oh, you want to fight me, huh? <laughs> this guy wants to fight me. Hey! Ha ha ha! What a coincidence! Hmm. I'm fighting you? So it's you I'm fighting. Depends. On what? If you want to get splattered. If so, then lace up, lay down some cash, and let's have some fun. All right, body shots only. Body shots only. I'm gonna avoid his nose. Care to explain the nade nose? What about it? It's where it's always been. Right, but say someone were to give it a good poke. <laughs> Silly question. It does what all grenades do. So, you know, game plan accordingly. So, no headshots. All right, $32,000. That's a good face. I like that face. Screenshot time. <laughs> Jeez. 
Ready to get shot right in the face. All right, are you ready? $32,000. You have no idea who I am and what I've done with these hands. If we're doing this, it's for serious scratch. I'm up in the stakes. Oh, Eddie's. I see you're not joking around. Hey. No problem. <laughs> yeah. I'll sweeten the pot. Body shot. Come with me. Body shots only. Into the pit. You two are ready to start? Yeah, I'll, I'll be over here. Yes. Let's begin. Yeah. Ready as I'll ever be. Oh, body shot. Body shot. Back of the leg. May the best crawler huh, huh. Win. Crotch, crotch, crotch. Stop. I'm done. I surrender. <laughs> this fight is over. Well. He is the winner. <laughs> that, uh, that was a doozy, V. Got me grinning like a goon. It was those uh, repeated yeah, yeah. crotch shots. Here's your take. You earn every any. Any. Thanks. You're a real bozo. You know that, Ozob. A what? And you're Mr. Normal? Don't turn your nose up at me! <laughs> hey, you do know that grenade's gonna pop one of these days, right? I avoid it, but someone else. I know, I know. We all die someday. At least when I do, there'll be fireworks. Mm. Coach Fred, congrats on, on winning Pacifica. You heard the other guy had a grenade instead of a nose? Crazy. Man, I love Night City. This place is weird. And I love weird things. You know me. That's why they call me Coach Fred. Yes. Bum 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 ba dum bum. Take it, fuck! Got him! Ugh! Ah! Valley you are! I'm full of Dockley! Got him! I have to use this gun a bit more right now because I have to build up my annihilation skill. Let's just have a party. I tear you apart, hear me? Likewise. You, and you, and you. I go this way. There, I'll aim at your head. Aim at your head for a second. Go over here. I want to spread that poison. I just want to tag them all. Just a couple times, you know. And right here. God damn it! I dashed backwards. And now we'll swap over to my rifle. Slam. Oh no. Some fire. You. Watch out for the civilians. Let's do some punching. Get back here. I'm about to be set on fire, but that's okay because I do more damage when I'm on fire. But they don't know. There you go. I have more armor and resistances when I have a kill combo going. So I'm perfectly fine. Let me go up here for a second. I know we're not done yet, but um, there's enemies up here. I don't want them killing each other. One shot and you're mega Let me throw him 
through the group, doing some sprinkling. I'm crouching as I'm running. Let's do some sniping. Not today. Not today, buddy. Fuck the bitch! No, Yobok! Do you just say that Vetish? Yeah. Good oh, boy. Oh. What we have to do. Why didn't you help out earlier? I was all by myself over there. You could have helped. You know? Okay, I finished the um, fight. I came here for a reason. But there's a bunch of enemies here, so I might as well swing on through them. You know? There's a whole route here in Pacifica. Right behind the counter. Right what behind the, the counter. Right behind the counter. Oh. Yeah, it was a ticket. And right there. Oh no. Right about. Yep. Yeah. They're bad people. They're all bad people. There's a few more over here. Pretty accurate gun. You know? For being an LMG. Okay, that's the whole uh, lower route. And now we'll loop around. This way. This way. Okay. Cream. E um. The premi. A premium. So creamy. It's Nova. It's super Nova. Super cream. The cream. Premium Supreme. I heard that. It's kind of funny. You have Nova, which is Supernova, and you have uh, Cream, which is Super Cream, known as Supreme. I heard some combat down there. Some contact. Wow, that's fast. We're the Mario Brothers. Ouch, that didn't work out at all. Oh. I was trying to jump on his head. Maybe they weren't really bad guys yet. Fire, fire. In slow motion. That's fine. That's a really fast creep on, isn't it? I just got these dudes. Looking like a chef! Dance. There you go. No. Super slow mo.
I care more about this other weapon, though. Yeah. It's cool because my movement speed is increasing, but I also have the slow time effect. Okay, I gotta drop the stuff off right right away. When you need them. What? Ah. Yes. So we're leaving here. Oh. What the heck? Against the wall and go. Because I'm sort of slidey, it's nice to slam into a wall like that. Okay, my assault is increasing and my annihilation is increasing. Let's go up and around. I don't think the enemies are back yet, but I'm not really trying to find these guys. And there's a roller coaster around the corner. Alright, so I'll be doing... I'm not marking these enemies right now. Yeah. Hey there, Alex. How's it going? And... How's your food? Was your food awesome? Let's go back through here for a second. Let's see if they're back yet. I'm not quite sure of their respawn rate. Okay, they're not back yet. That's fine. Let's go back this way. I'm still trying to build up my athletics. I think it only builds up when I'm in combat, but sometimes it seems to build up otherwise. A group spawns here sometimes, but not right now. I'm going up and around. You had a cheeseburger with your pizza and some cereal because you had a What kind of cereal there, Alex? What kind of pizza? Okay. Alright, let's go around the back end of Baghdad. And I'll stop by these vendors. And I'll swing back through to clear out those other dudes. We have more to explore, more to do. I like to go back through areas I know before exploring new areas. You know, because I don't really know those areas completely. It's just, you know, I, for the most part, know them. Oh, the Kashi, uh, Red Baron. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The Red Baron, I'm sorry. Yes, the Red Baron pizza. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I like some good, uh, a good raisin bran. I like a good raisin bran. Let me break down some of the stuff here. Full of extra bran. And no raisins. There's no raisins in raisin bran. Actually, sorry. Not raisin bran. I don't, I don't even know why I said raisin bran. Because there is. I meant to say grape nuts. Grape nuts. I don't like um, raisin bran. Okay? Let's be clear. I don't know why I said raisin bran. I take it back. I meant to say grape nuts. Alright? Grape nuts. Hey there, Shandy. Welcome. And I'll make some ammo, even though it doesn't really matter anymore. It does not matter. Until we're full. Until we're full. And I'll make each of these the carry weight booster, because why not? You know? And the stamina booster. Boom. And we're done. This way. That was not my intention. Crazy fucker! Hope you both grow! I 
gotta shoot them before they they die from the bleed, from the blood. Here on the staircase. There's some enemies around these buildings here because there's some vendors here. There's enemies in front of each of these vendors. Of course, we all know this. We all, everybody that plays this game knows that. Oh my god, the building. All these civilians. They got that weird white blood from Alien. Whoa. Hi there, friend. Do you have any good mods or anything? Their mods and so forth change stock. No money. Okay, there's some enemies right across the street, if you don't mind. I should stick on this end and then loop around to the road, otherwise I'll be caught up in the flim plans. Let's stick back here for now. I don't want to run through bushes. Hey there, Julian. Donk motherfuckers everywhere. Did you call me? Good old Pacifica. We're still trying to memorize this whole region. You know. There we go. Let me go in here because maybe, just maybe, they have something new. I think they're waiting until we reach the, the twilight corner of this overall game before Last this. Looking to get shipped. Nobody has better legs. It's just driving me crazy. Nobody has better legs. Yes. I don't know. They just don't want me. I'm worried. Yes. I know there's no The Netrunners of Pacifica. Let's go down. And then I'll wrap around and hit up the other region. There's a bunch of enemies I'm running through right now. Yep. I concur. I concur. And there's some enemies right over here. Right over here. I've already um, reached the point in the story where there's a less of an overall influence of the Rudy boys in the area because of what happened in the story. Now there's far fewer. on my face, you know. Let's go run on my tippy toes. Tiptoe through the flim flam, baba, whatever. Thousands of possibilities. There were Far more enemies right outside the store, but now there's only a couple. An experiment. I'm an experiment. 
practice on yourself. What are you talking about? Leave me alone. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Hi there, I like to peruse your wares. I'm looking for any new mods at the clothing store. Mods at the clothing store. Oh no. This clothing store has everything. But I've already sold them. And no more money. Okay, we're running back down. We're almost done with Pacifica. I'll be leaving here in a bit. Okay? And then I'll work on one of my other quests. I'm trying to really do as much as possible before this game session ends. I might be making a new character before... Before... Um, the next update. You know, and that'll be fun. Starting from scratch. Eventually. Before the next update. Because that's also a, another way to learn. You, you sort of have to play through the same content over and over and over again. You know what I mean? So I do have to do the beginning numerous times. Cause sometimes you do some quest in the quest tree and you kind of forget. You have fucked yourself! They're fighting other people. Whoa. I'll make it quick for you. They don't know I'm here. They don't know I'm here. Big gun time. Hey dear, I'm here. I'm here. Right about now. Sandevistan time. It's Sandevistan. That's what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure... Hey, true or false? I have a question for y'all. And some context for the question. Right now, I'm in Pacifica. A portion of Night City. And as you can see, this entire portion of the map is inaccessible. All those skyscrapers, you see, there's a wall that sort of separates most of this, the deeper part of the of, of Pacifica, away from the player. This entire node is inaccessible, all the way down and across. Boom. True or false? Will this area be accessible in the next update? I think this entire area is going to change. And they're doing a ton of work to make sure it's not going to be garbage. Because they're adding a lot. So this whole area is going to change. Like the, the entire composition and maybe the, the overall general vibe of Pacifica will probably change. You know? There's supposed to be an area called the Combat Zone, which I'm pretty sure is in, is in the middle of Pacifica. But we can't go there. And who... Maybe that's the multiplayer PvP thing. Ooh, I don't know. But the question is, how would this work? You see right now, time slows down. How would the Sandevistan work in multiplayer? Slowing down time. That's my main concern. Otherwise, you could and should... Me! There's some combat up on this blockway. Slowing down time. See, in this mode, as I kill enemies, I heal. Whenever time is slowed down. So I think for my next build, I'd, I'd rather have more of a slight hybrid thing, because it is important to, on occasion, do some uh, net running. You gotta do some net running on occasion. But I don't want to be so powerful that I'm completely relying upon that. 
Hey, motherfucker! You're a bitch! Got him. Huh. See that? See what I see? I see the railing broken right here. That means you could probably jump that way for fast enough. Or not. I don't think you're supposed to go up there. Because otherwise you can jump over that wall, but you're not supposed to. Alright. Okay. I I'm leaving Pacifica by way of these flim plans. But up here is a spot. But not right now. Some spots respawn right when you turn the corner. Other spots take a while. It's rather interesting. Okay, we're done here. Wild Blue Hotel. Hmm. It'll be funny if they um What's up, kept changing the name of the game. Cyberpunk 2079, Cyberpunk 2082. Every every new edition to the game. Wow, that was scary. Cyberpunk. Yeah. No. All right, we're done here. No. We're done here. So now, I've been updating things and filming the plan. Let's go check out my overall quests. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They really want me to do that mission. Oh no. I gotta do the mission. Oh no. Let's go do something else for a bit. I'm trying to avoid doing that mission. Okay, we have Cyber Psychos. We have... Flim and Flam. There's, there's a bunch of stuff down here. So I think right now, let's go explore this other corner of the map down here by the Biotechnica of Flim Flam. Okay? My goal is to drive over here into the Boonies. Okay? So according to the overall map, I'm looking at this map first. And I'll show you the other map. There's a Coliseum here. Here's Pacifica. There's a wandering road. A highway of sorts. And we go down south by south east towards those uh, this is jackson plains out here i'm pretty sure this whole weird solar panel array i just gotta head down to those landmarks and follow that road all the way down and apparently at the very end of all this there's some activity there's activity activity and activity okay so that's the plan i'll be going up and around the coliseum now let me show you the other map okay so here's here's the other map right here I'm over here somewhere in the middle of of uh, Pacifica. Yes, Pacifica. Yes. And I gotta go up and around this Coliseum. There's some enemy group out here somewhere. I think right here. Pretty sure. Yeah. We'll see if they respawn. And we go through here, up and around. And around and around and around. My goal is to get to this road over here, you see. So I just gotta, you know, eventually head south. 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 There'll be signs for a SoCal. SoCal. See, this this sign over here says something like Nor NorCal. There'll be signs and so forth for SoCal. But I'll be heading down south, and I'll see the Biotechnica on my right, and the Pacifica on my right. You know, it's the very... This right here is the edge of... Uh, this is Rancho Coronado, Santo Domingo that whole situation there's construction out here of some variety maybe uh, trying to pinpoint anything i might notice this might here this right here is the pi z spot i think earlier i crossed over the highway 
and I was practicing this route here. Yes, yes, yes. I I have memorized this whole field over here. I was running back and forth forever, all throughout here, all throughout here. Big damn, that's his biotechnica, and so forth and so on. You know. Hey there, Benjamin. Yes. Yeah. So, once I'm out there at the Pi Z spot, right there, I'll be trying to head out of there. Pretty much the end of this Highway 101 garbage in the other direction leads almost directly to the intersection merger of Biotechnica. And this is probably uh, Petrochem because they seem to run the power. Even the um, non-fuel-based power, non-chemical power sources, from what I've seen across the map, maybe. Like the power plants. You know what I mean? So that's the plan. All right. Break. Ready? There's the Coliseum. I'll be going up and around it. Okay? And it'll somehow connect onto the highway. I want to go right here, you see? Not the actual highway itself, we want to go around. And there should be an enemy group back here. But we're not doing that right now, are we? So this right here is part of what I want. This highway here goes up and around. Okay. There's Biotechnica. Hey. So we're following this road down. Rancho Coronado. So this is that highway that bisects the whole thing. And I'll be going down there to the left. So th there should be a big left coming up. Yeah. So once I hit this array of power sources, it appears to be a mirror system where the light from the sun is reflecting from all those nodes projecting onto that thinner column and it's heating up something or doing whatever and that, that's creating power. Thermal electric flint lamps. Boiling water. In the end, it's all boiling water, right? I mean, it's a pretty cool area. Let's go over there for a second. Let's go check it out. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Whoa! 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 Wow. Oh my. appears to be little roads. Whoa. Who is that? Who do you work for? Militech. Oh, yeah. I'm behind you now. Ah. Ah. 
Melotech. Oh no. Melotech. What in the flim flam? Gallimimin. This is good lighting. Add this to my portfolio. Right about there. Right about. Right about. Right about. Right there. Boom. It's a good, you know, all the shadows and difference in lighting there. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. A nice smooth ride. Steady and make it. Then wiser never miser. Yeah, just uh oh. <laughs> I knocked over the thing. What's inside of you? Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting mods from those robots. So this is the good... Hey! We found a robot farm, everybody. We have found a robot farm. Oh. I found a robot farm. Here, I'll show you the map and we'll sing along. I'm sure there's stuff here. You see? I'll add... I'm just, I'm just sure that each of these have the, the patrol... Uh, Jackson, Jackson, uh, enemy farm, underscore, zero, zero, uh, whatever, one alpha, alpha, and I'll make it blue as a tentative spot. Those are tentatives, all the tentatives, and again, uh, Jackson, enemy farm, blue, done, yeah, and again, just as a reminder, Okay, this is the personal reminder that this spot probably has robots. Yes. What about up here? Field full of solar panels.
Uh, the, the, the fast travel spot here. There might be a, a quest here or something. Usually there's a reason for that sort of thing. I would like if that was like, you know, uh, I would like if that was a flying taxi pickup point or some garbage and it would show a flying taxi pick me up. Otherwise, it's stupid. This is what we call a hidden gem. This is what we call a hidden gem. 77 euro dollars. Some alcohol. A hot dog. You got a truck here. Probably a Thornton. Nice mods. Batch number. Nine two eight eight Tango four. Hmm. I'm trying to see any corporate affiliation. Fast goal here, so it's not too corpo. That color scheme is sort of avocados, the green and yellow, or the, that avocado scheme. We have a dead body. Some money. A baseball bat. They're hanging out here. A body was drug. Conversation between Carson Moss and Julia Moss. Get dressed, get out of the house, and go to your mother's. What's going on? Sweetie pie, just do what I say for once. And no questions asked. You're getting us into trouble yet again. Not you, me. Trouble and luck. Are you dressed yet? Oh my goodness. Good. I found a briefcase in the desert. It's full of cash. And there's bodies around it. Don't worry. I'll hide and see what happens if anyone comes looking for it. Mm, yes. It, it's in familiar territory. If it comes to it, I'll be able to pull up a fight. And not get drugged in the mud. That's the case. People came looking for it. Euro dollars. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Ramen. That's what I'm talking about. And here we have what's inside the box. Oh, a mangan. Stop it. A manganese. <gasps> manganese. Laminate nomad gas mask. Oh my sweet flim. Manganese. Okay. We lost everything. Let me go over here for a second. We've got these very large solar panels, along with all these these smaller solar panels. I'm really trying to understand this overall flow. There's Pacifica way out there. We've got these facilities. Are these solar panels? Those are like... There's something going on with space. There's a space station or two or three going on here. There's the, the Crystal Palace and other space stations. And that might be a power transmission station from ground to space or from space to ground. Or information. But it seems to me like it's power of some variety because look it goes down in a row you got these stations all the way down and you have this garage too bad you can't really do anything so this right here is a spot neutralize the suspects 
I'll come back to that spot. There's a spot there, people. That garage has the bed rates. What's this? I see a gas station up and over the hill. I should go say hi to Pan Am. for the bumps. Okay, we're going all the way down. I just saw that sign peeking up over the edge. Got these rocks out here. Another gas station. going on here. Of course. <laughs> Take that, Militech. You're fair game. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to drive down to the end in the back. Yeah. Finger beauty. Biotechnica. Keeps on going down. We're checking it out. We're going to find a way. Ooh. Rattlesnake Creek. Hmm. Why does it have a name? Whoa, 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 now that's the hostile weirdo zone where they shoot you. There's like a DMZ right outside of Night City. Probably with no attack. Bouncy, trouncy, fun, fun road. Let's not drive through the bushes, okay? Oh, we don't want to go that way. We don't want to go that way. What does that sign say? What does that sign say? It says danger explosion hazard. Oh my, oh, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh no, oh my, oh no, yeah. This structure is, oh. Halfway and halfway out of this weird zone. Got some more money. Ugh. 
Alright. And there's a fast travel point. Weird. Sure. Why, sure they are. We got these cliffs over here. NC, back with you so soon. How's your afternoon? Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and the enjoy edge of the, the sun. Waka ka 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 ku. Oh no, here we go. Can I go in here? What? Let's check out this map. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go clear these spots, huh? Then we have to go back through to go test to see if they respawn. Because who knows until you know. I don't know. It's time to go. Extremely dangerous. Alright, what do we have? The AWAC zone. AWAC system active. Who oh, no. knew? Hmm. There's rates here, so. Lots of fuel around. Whoa. Whoa. How do you like it? That's a strong one. I'm aiming towards the enemy. That works. Hey there, Wraith. You must dye your hair green. Deal. That's the wrong shade, I'm sorry. Annihilation. And we're done. Exciting. On fire. Exciting. On fire. Beep. The love flame. Let's go this way. And we go back down to this other corner. So it's not completely deadly. I think it's, for the most part, deadly, but that was uh, sort of in a corner, breaking line of sight. There should be some enemies around this other corner, though. In a cave or something. And here we go, real fast. Oh no, oh no, they got they got snipers. Oh, yeah! 
wait, 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 There we go, nice and slow. There's one. Yeah, those those turrets really were a monkey wrench, huh? Okay, so now move around a bit. There you go. Oh, this guy also has. Uh, there is a sniper. I'll let him. Oh boy. Move right away for a second. There he is. Yeah. That was exciting. That was a bit more difficult than other situations, huh? They have those turrets up on the ceiling. And the sniper outside, though. Sort of a monkey wrench. Very nice. Okay. That was all good. And now we'll be moving back around the other way because I missed it last time. Sure, let's go back down the main road and hang a looby or a righty. Looby Calhoun. right coming up over here is it obvious how, how obvious is it let's find out Whee! right over here yeah, I think it's this road right here Right in front of these structures, like right here. Got it. So we're heading to these enemies. Whoa. this oh there's that one lot that we traveled through that one time for that one quest chasing after some people just for a second as we're chasing some people we go through the oh there's people here oh this is a spot Okay, these wraiths have some good mods. Yep, these wraiths have the good stuff. Thank you. Right there for a second, please. Thank you very much. This spot is right there. This spot right there is a spot. Let's go check this other map here for a second. 
And, um, as I'm running around, here's the map, okay? This is all Jackson Plains. This spot right here is one of those spots right there. Jackson. Done. Yes. So where was I? Where are we? Where are we going? What is happening? Got the Anderson Road here. Let's just check the map one more time. Makes sense to me. Down some side road. Up around the bend. Okay. Yep, there's the ring. There we go. Context. That wall over there is a no man zone. With the cliffs behind me. Good. So at this gas station we have to infiltrate and annihilate. Wraiths. I'll start with the roof, dude. to Kentucky Plaza. Here we go. Watch your language. Are we done here? That was exciting. Past tense. Yeah. I don't know. Yep, yep, yep. Blow them up now so they don't blow up on me. That was exciting, huh? Okay, up top, get the weapon. And go. Archive conversation. My goodness gracious. Lim Flam, Gong's a coward. Our numbers guy, no way he limbed us over. Well, he did. Huh? <sighs> Mr. Meth charged the Tigers an extra 5%, but didn't tell us about it. Oh my gosh. Oh. They're getting robbed, undercut. Savage. Savage. Rob skimmed. Like that skim cheese. Skim milk. That spot out there has it. Let's go get our motorcycle up and running. And here we go. I have to sort of run through here a while until I, I, I identify where the enemies really respawn. And I don't think it's right to really drive through the bushes. I don't think it's right to drive through the bushes, people. For the most part, it ain't right. Oh no. It's time to go now. Oh yeah. There we are. I see my victim. Standing by the car. Let's go. Yes, 
Maybe. And big bada I shot the explosive through the tire there. Fair amount of do. That was nice. All these wraiths. All right. Let's go all the way around through the desert. This way. Deck. spot where the AV crashed for that one mission. King Tao. Oh, they're still here. This is King... I never really fight King Tao, do I? I'd rather not. This is King Tao. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that robot has Fendeva standing in it. That's awesome. And it's nice. Whoa, that was really cool. And it has a legendary mod or something. Or item component. This spot might be repeatable. Maybe. They just have more and more King Tal coming out here. Check behind those rocks. Yeah. Give me there's some structure out here. Oh, you're in the bonus. Now, what is this? Where am I? What is even happening? Hmm. Some sort of wraith face. What's that sign say? Keep out private property. Okay. Oh, it's Militech. Interesting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, this distant spot. This might be a repeatable area. I hope so. What's this? Pretty sure I've been here before. A long time ago. You know? This jacket has to be hot. Yeah, let's go up and around right here. Open fence.
Oh my. Got you. Sorry. sure you come back here for a mission. You know? I'm pretty sure. Enemy contact! Thank you. What do I get for exploring? All the stuff they have. And down we go. I end up learning crafting specs and all that. Personal access token. Hmm. Jacking in for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that, Militech. And then we have to go around the map again and check everything just to see if things really do respawn. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. We'll see. Alright. Watch the language. And bada boom. Just like that, just like that. Okay. We are free. Free, I say. But that was cool. Let's go up and to the right over here. That spot might respawn. It sure seems like it might. Whoa, 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 whoa. This spot here was used for that race a little bit. You know? Okay, let's go a loop around really quick. There's a, a building behind me I want to check out. Yeah, let me refresh my chat box. Uh oh. Oh no. Let's go. There's a barn here or something. There do appear to be enemies out here. Oh, this is a a gig. Oh my goodness. Let's go loop around the block. I'm going to do a big loop around the perimeter. Okay. Of this whole node. Cause this, this whole area does appear to be its own little area. And I would like to go through the middle of these solar farms to look for drones, to look for drones. Well, there's another truck down there, but that, that might have been my truck. I left. We're going to uh, swing through. Aha. Well, well, well. That's cool. Mod farming. Yeah. Mod farming 101. So there's one here. Confirm. And another one, maybe? Oh, yes. Okay, there's two in this room. Wow. Okay, let's run over here. A 
I thought that was a person, but it was really just a yucca plant. These things are pretty weak. But I'm getting those muds. Now we're in the second thing. Yeah. Maybe there's two per. Yes. Maybe at least two per. Cool. Well, that's cool. I love finding these things on my own. You know, we found a nice drone farm for muds. So far, each of those rings have had two of those drones. them had two. Nice. Yay! That's that's worth it. Alright, Alex. Catch you later. There, buddy. Enjoy the game. Oh, goodbye. Okay. Let's go check it out. We have this other microwave array. Let's go check out this next one. It, it looks different than the other ones, though. And we have this whole solar field. I don't know if there's anything in there, but we could check that. Right over here. Let's go check this whole thing. Hmm. Well, it does appear to be fenced in, which is a good thing, because I don't want to have to go up in there. Uh, is it a good thing? I'm inside now. Oh, it is a good thing. Oh, it is a good thing. Oh, wow, we found some awesome spot. Item component, and we have a dude here. Which is no affiliation. Mm -hmm. Let's go break down some stuff. Just the blues and so forth. A little bit. Yeah. All right, let me let me add this to my overall map here. Okay. I'm adding this to my map. All right. Here's my map. This is a pretty good spot. Jackson Plain. Enemy farm. Okay, so what do we, we have a dust drum sort of coming in. Now there's one drone. How many drums are there? Two? I'm guessing there's a couple. Okay. Just give up, damn you! But I don't want to. I am a menace. A menace. What? Got a hit. Yeah, there's, there's a fair number out here. A fair number of enemies. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. All done. Wasn't that fun? Okay, we took care of that. 
a situation. And we have some stuff being pumped around. Okay, let's go loop around now. That was educational. Let's go put some stuff into the back of this bike. My bike. Let's go put this stuff away. It says it right there. There's a sign. And it says... Night... The city of Night City. City of Dreams. Power plant. There's a parking structure over here that might be in means. Best choice in US of America. Alright, so now we're gonna loop around Jackson Plains again. To really understand it, you know? Yeah. Hello, hello, good morning. Yeah. So that area to the left, go through the solar panels. We don't really want to go there right now. Let's go around this way, around the outer rim. Let me go around this rock over here because I'm kind of curious. What's behind this rock? It's quite the mesa. And this goes where? A bunch of graffiti. For no reason. In the back end of... Whoa! Oh my gosh. I found a hidden gem. I'm getting quite a few drones these days, huh? Archive conversation. I'm hungry. I'll find the food. Don't you worry. Okay, Biotechnica. I'll just check in the rim. The inner rim. No, whoopsie. All right, and I take a right. Yay. Okay, all the way down. There's all Biotechnica plum plans. All Biotechnica is the main highway. Main highway, but not really. The back end of the solar panels, no big deal. Back end of everything. Let's go loop around for a second. This is a hotel of some variety. Whoa. Oh, this is a gig. Go check this building right here. Alright, cool. Whoa. Okay, I'm, I'm 
I'm just checking all around, different ways around. Got more Biotechnica. And let's go check out this little structure over here to the left. And then loop around. Children of the Ark. Hmm. Singularity is nigh. Uh huh. Check this out, and I'll loop right back around and head back down to the main road. Yes. Estoy bailando. Okay. back down to the road right now Just doing a loop. Let me go sell some stuff here. I was over encumbered just now. It's almost like gas. Having to unload. Just like having to fill up. Still looping around towards the edge of reality, not towards the city, right? Hmm. Yes, because we're looping around. We're looping around. Go check it out. Okay, right through Biotechnica in the future. The shortcut sort of to Pacifica. In theory, I, I was already practicing on the other side of the desert. This is the whole different node, you know. This Jackson Plains area. Whoa. Another road down. They all say zero, though. See, so they all say zero. We're taking the left up here, of course, unless I already missed my left node. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Gulch Road. Right on down Sage Gulch. I'm gonna go check out this trailer. Yeah. 
still behind this building. There is another road. Right there on the edge. We're looping around this whole thing. And then we're heading to that leash spot. And then I'll do these gigs in just a bit. Well, good news. We've learned about the existence of that droid farm. I was trying to find a lot of drones to destroy to get the mods. I invested three perks, three perk points into being able to farm mods off a of robot. Let's go off road here for a second. Watch out for that man-eating cacti. Or, uh, those man-eating jackrabbits. And that killer cacti. And there's lots of crazy rocks out here. We have had a lot amongst those rocks. Here we are. A little hotel thing. And here we go. Behind the building. Yeah. He's early enough. Oh, yeah. Put some fire on him. Some fire on him. Yes, it is so good. I agree. Surround the target. Oh no, I'm right behind you, pal. Night City. Nice. I got some mods off of that robot. Jeez. Protein farms are currently the source of most meat and meat substitute products in Night City. Biotechnica is the clear industry leader, providing for over half the city's demand for alternative protein. Currently, the most popular, albeit cost-intensive, form of production is based on protein-rich crickets, which allow producers to achieve the highest quality protein. Earthworms are also available as a cheaper alternative, achieving a higher yield of product per square meter. However, worms pose a more difficult marketing challenge. While crickets have become acceptable, most consumers still bristle at being told to go eat worms. Yeah. Are we done here? Oh, 
Are we good now? Just make sure. Yeah. level 20 assault which means guess what people I no longer am forced to use assault rifles just so you know whatever I'm using right now is only because I'm trying to populate or well, most of it I'm trying to finalize my skills you see and I just hit level 20 with my assault rifles which means I'm no longer forced to defeating an enemy weapon sway is nullified and weapon spread does not increase so now all that's left with my progression is, oh my gosh, this is so exciting, uh, Athletics, Annihilation, Engineering. I could throw grenades or something. The thing is, I have to earn one more level of engineering, I think. Or, you know, I, I think we're fine. No, one more one more level until we're good to go. So, But that'll happen over time. It just happens. So I need Annihilation. But we're good beyond that. Over here, I can't do much, you see? I could go for a hybrid sort of build or some weird garbage, but you see... Uh, I, I'm going to go so far with my intelligence. So, now all I have to do is level up my... In terms of weapons, light machine guns or assault rifles. Sorry, light machine guns or shotgun. So that being said, I can go back to the handgun, sword, punch, shotgun combo. Which is very exciting, okay? So, I'm about to respec. And I know you want to stay tuned for that. That's the fun part of the screen. Because I'd rather use a revolver and a sword and my fists and a shotgun just for the heck of it. But for the most part using melee and punching and then the occasional point blank headshot. And the occasional hilarious mega shotgun. Okay, anyways. Let's go do this mission right over here. There's two gigs out here. Let's go knock them out. There's a gig right around the corner. Crazy, I know. Let's go do a drive-by. to go info so my mission is to infiltrate this facility new american auto works we have to do a some sort of infiltration i have a gig now it's more than just killing everybody sometimes you have to avoid killing people Only I'd rather he hadn't. Catch my meaning? I'm sending some info on the static scum your way. Okay, there's somebody named Big Pete. Alright, and that person contacted me to take care of business. So, I have a gig. It's it's a, the type is gun for hire. The objective is to get rid of Big Pete, a mechanic with the wraiths. Big Pete runs a garage out, out there in the Badlands. Fixes up clunkers for the Raff and Shiv. Before that, he was hustling as a techie in Night City. But now, Pete's not your 
definition of a nice guy. Soon enough, he made some powerful enemies and had to skip town. Just so happens, Pete's enemies are my friends. The person that said that. And I owe said friends a favor. You make Big Pete eat dust, I get one less favor to owe. It's not hard to find him. Just try any one of the Wraith garages. You'll find the guy. So there's a dude here. He's not really a bad dude, necessarily. Uh, he's a mechanic working for the Wraiths. He used to work in Night City. He was a techie. He was hustling, but he made some enemies and skipped town and became a mechanic. But those enemies are friends of the Fixer that operates out here in the Badlands. So I have to do a favor for a favor, job for a job. And we have to take care of business. So this, in theory, needs to be clean. I think all the wraiths are bad, mind you. All the wraiths are bad. Um, okay. All the wraiths are bad, but this one is, is a wanted man, sort of, because he owes somebody money or something. But we're about to go engage upon the enemy, and I'll be right back, okay? And we'll do this thing, and then I'll probably respec after that, and we can see how it feels to be different. Or I might respec right before. Either way, I'll probably respec right before. Okay, I'll be right back. Like and subscribe.
Yeah. As long as we got each other, we got the world thumbing climbing in our hands, don't you know? So, sometimes you gotta play it cool, sometimes you can play it fast and greasy. But what we're gonna do is, because I have my motorcycle here, let's just see what I have. I'm thinking that I should, first of all, I'll pull up my, my uh, pistol, all right? And I'll pull up my sword, my Arasaka sword. Okay, I'll pull out the Rebecca shotgun until I think of other things. I would like a tech weapon. I've been getting rid of all these things, you know. Uh, doesn't have to be special. Do I need a tech weapon? I don't know. It's just the last category of thing I need. I can get a tech pistol. There is a tech pistol. Yeah. Death and taxes. Power pistol. Let's go by type. Hmm? Yeah. Pistolo. Power. 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 Uh, power. The Lizzie pistol is a tech pistol and it's purple. Maybe. Power, 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 power. I could just drive down to a spot and just ignore the whole thing. Well, we have the the uh, Satara shotgun, which is nice. Is that the only shotgun I have right now? The worst shotgun ever? Whatever. Let me go check out my crafting. I can craft up to blue tiered items, sort of. What do we have? We have uh, power, 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 power. Green. Satara. Well, I don't really want to kill them. So, you know what? This is actually a good thing. So, I'm going to use the Satara shotgun. Okay. Let's see if I have one. Which I'm pretty sure I do. I'll use this garbage Satara until I get something better. Okay. It'll work out. This one's white. I can make it green. Let's craft the green. Just one. Okay. Done. And now, let's just see what we have. We got the shotgun here. The green shotgun. With no mods on it. Okay. We have the pistol of yore. And we have the slicey dicey swordy warty. Yes. Let's just see if I if I have the best crit damage, attack speed, attack speed, crit chance by two point five percent. Slightly better version. And this right here is Crit damage by 7.5%. I'll replace that with 10%. Done. So, now we'll go down to my pistol. I might have a better scope for this guy. Now, I don't know much about the scope here. Oh, boy. I, I like the old scope quite a bit. Digital scope. Are you coming? Well, we'll try it out, okay. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not good. Hmm. Then we have damage to limbs, we have crit damage. Crit damage, let's replace that one. Yes. And over here we have rate of fire, we don't really care about rate of fire all that much. Just raw damage is fine. Okay. And this last one, crit damage. This is a fire pistol. Yes, increased chance to apply the burn effect. Eh. Uh, eh. Cool. There's that. Shotgun has nothing. 
And now we respect for $25,000. Okay, let's first start off with the important stuff. Talent and dead deadly to increase my silenced, uh, my silenced weapons. Damage, increase my movement speed with the crouching tiger. Ghost increases the detection time, so it takes longer for the enemies to detect me. Okay, I move faster when they do detect me. Hmm. Upon entering combat, crit chance increases. Yep, from the shadows. Increases headshot damage outside of combat. I could jump on the enemy with hidden dragon. Assassin, more damage to humans. Health regen and stealth. Uh, crouch attacks from stealth with melee weapons are guaranteed to be criticals. When all my health drops down to below 50%, reduce all incoming damage by 50%. Like immortality, sort of. I'm already good to go with my uh, poison. I'm already immune to poison. Okay, I'm not using knives. Crit chance while sneaking. Strike from the shadows. Now with cold blood, I want to stack up cold blood all the way. When defeating an enemy, I gain cold blood for 7 seconds, which increases movement speed by 2% and stacks up to 3 times. Okay. Cool stuff. While it's active, it reduces the damage taken, uh, increases the duration of cold blood by a bit. Max stack count is increased, reduces recoil. Okay. Uh, landing a crit has a chance to apply a stack of cold blood. At a certain point, it doesn't matter as much because you already are just chilling at five stacks. I think that's the main or that's the stack count. More damage to at point blank range. I don't die. I have a faster attack speed. Per stack of cold blood. Increases my armor. Uh, my melee damage. Because I need to one shot them with my sword. Okay. Headshot damage. We're doing headshots and chopping off heads. Okay. With the occasional really cool shotgun attack to increase my engineering skill because it's a tech weapon. Okay, my health regen inside and outside of combat. My stacks of cold blood are removed one by one with coagulant. Uh, I don't care about my raw resistances right now. We're not doing quick acts. And we're done there. I'll put one point right here. While cold blood's active, increases crit chance by 5% and crit damage by 25%. Very nice. Over here, body. I want to regenerate my health quite a bit with all these different buffs. Health regenerates as I move. It regenerates faster to a higher degree. Lowered falling um, fall damage with st soft on your feet. Indestructible for just 10% lowered uh, reduced income uh, in re reduced damage <laughs> incoming. Increased armor with steel shell. The rock. Enemies can't knock me down. This is my max health there with Invincible. Okay. Increases my carry capacity. Dodging and sprinting don't drain my stamina with Like a Butterfly and Marathoner. And my health regen in combat is increased, increased, increased. Okay. I don't care about my max stamina. That'll just work itself out. Health regeneration in combat activates faster. My melee damage needs to be maxed out on these dudes. Okay. Getting hit does not interrupt my my health regeneration. Reduces the amount of stamina consumed. Nope. Okay, so for shotguns, we're doing shotgun stuff. All right. Now, I want to knock back the enemies with shotguns. Heavy lead. I'm not trying to kill them. I am trying to dismember them a little bit. So shotguns have a higher chance of dismembering enemies. And but that's not damage, that's just dismemberment, you know what I mean? Increases movement speed in combat by 5% while carrying a shotgun or light machine gun. Right there. And over here, I deal more damage the faster I'm moving. Alright, entering combat using a shotgun or light machine gun, my movement speed increases. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure I have extra perks laying around somewhere. We're not worrying about all this stuff. Shotguns, deal more damage. Nope. Reload time, nope. Crit damage, nope. Duration of burn, maybe. Dismembering uh, enemy using a shotgun. Increases fire rate, nope. The weapon spread does not increase while running. Yep. Reduces recoil of shotguns and light machine guns. Sure. I gotta do all I can, you know. All I can. Okay. Defeating an enemy using a shotgun or light machine gun increases movement speed by a whole lot. So I would be swapping from that over to something else by 20%. Okay, now for Street Brawler, we're not doing much with punching, but I am. I would like to punch them on occasion and then know in the back of my head that I'm kind of healing from it. But I really do care about this down here. Increases crit damage by 60% for 10 seconds after entering combat. That's good. That's fine. Successful attacks with blunt weapons heal. Okay. That's all I want. Everything else, really. This is fine. The thrash, where strong attacks with blunt weapons reduce enemies' armor. Defeating an enemy uh, increases damage with blunt weapons. No. 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 Nope. Nope. Increases armor while blocking. Nope. All attacks have a chance to stun. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, that's sort of the whole point. But I'm only punching them one time. Successful attacks with blunt weapons against enemies affected by stun restore stamina, but no. Okay, it's all stunny and healy, just for a second. But if I punch them more than once, it's likely to heal me, so I can do this one. I'm trying to see if I have enough points to go around here. So now we're good to go. I have the option. So now, over here under reflexes, we're doing handguns first. Uh, well, I'll do the blades first. Handguns first. All right, handguns. After, after a successful crit hit with a pistol or revolver, damage and armor increase by a whole lot. 30% for five seconds. That's good enough. So we want to be able to headshot them. And have them die. After a successful headshot with a pistol or revolver, crit chance increases by a lot. Consecutive shots with a pistol, same target increases my damage. Now, nope. Deal more damage with pistols to enemies whose health is below 25%. No. Increases pistol and re uh, reduces the pistol and revolver recoil by 20%. Sure. Removes the damage penalty. Uh, from pistols and revolvers for enemies from shooting from the distance, and I do more damage to far away targets with the uh, long shot drop pop. Increases damage with pistols and revolvers to enemies five plus meters away from me. Headshot damage multiplier is increased. Okay, increases the mitigation chance for 5 seconds after performing a dodge with the pistol equipped. By default, mitigation grants a chance to reduce any damage taken. So, if I was starting and I would go straight into a dodge, I will then pull out my sword while I'm running and then chop their heads off, in theory. Or go to the shotgun, either way. Either way, during that sequence, I'd be very tanky. Okay, draw time is reduced, I don't care. I'll think about the max damage, crit damage, we'll think about it. Damage to limbs with the thing, head to toe, it says right there. Crit chance is increased. Fire rate increases, no. Crit damage with pistols, oh my gosh, we'll think about it. Crit chance. Reload time. It's raw damage from three. Okay, because I have to be able to kill them. It's sort of a big deal. 
Like, it's sort of a big deal. Alright, that should be good. I don't care about the draw time. Oh boy. The crit chance is already up there. Okay. Let's go to blades for a second. I'll come back to the other thing. We have to be able to one-shot them with heavy attacks. And my fists apply blood. So if I attack, if I kill an enemy with a sword that's already bleeding, after punching them, I can punch, 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 slice, slice, slice. Sort of thing. Shoot, 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 punch, 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 slice, slice, slice. Right, so. Uh, let's just see here. While wielding a blade recovers 2% health when hitting an enemy affected by bleeding. Sure. Oh my gosh. I don't have enough points. Alright. Defeating an enemy with a sword increases my movement speed and restores my health in general. Okay. I shouldn't even have to punch him, to be honest. Alright. Let me let me do the fist purse uh well I think I spent too much too many points here, to be honest. Because I'll be mainly healing. I'll be mainly healing with the sword. So I think. I'll think about it. Well, let's do it again. Do it again. Okay, let's start off with the sword. Alright, because we have to. Okay, strong attacks do more damage. It has to one-shot them. And I don't care about the stamina right now. Maybe. As much. Increase the damage with blades against enemies with max health. That's sort of the whole plan. But if I punch them first, you see, that's sort of stupid. You see? So I might not even have to punch them like that. So let's just... I'm only going to punch them just to knock them down. And just to apply a bleed. Okay, so let's just ignore... All punching perks. Mm hmm. Bleeding applied can stack. Crit chance increased. Bleeding duration. Attack speed. Combos have a chance to apply bleeding. Defensive attacks do more damage. Dodging increases damage with blades. Sure. Okay, we heal with the blades. Counter attack with blades. Restore whatever. Uh, heal from bleeding. Increase armor while running with a sword. And crit damage with blades. Crit damage with blades is increased. Over here we have that crit chance increased. There it is. And I might as well max out that attack speed. It's pretty important. Let's not worry about the bleeding stacks. Bleeding duration, dodging, recover stamina. Dodging increases damage for five seconds. Maybe. I'll hold off on that one because it could mean that any dodge leading into blade use increases my blade. That's like sort of the plan to one shot them. That five seconds really carries over for quite some time in slow motion. All right, this might be good. That's a lot. Okay, counter attacks with blades, restore the flim flam. Whenever I dodge, I recover stamina. Mm. Sure, because I'm not spending any in theory. I'm just gonna do level one, and we'll go from there. Okay, and back over here with handguns, let's make sure that we get all the headshot damage in the world. Crit chance is increased. Distance. Headshot multiplier. And uh, damage and armor is increased. I don't care about fire rate. Crit chance with pistols. Damage to limbs. Crit damage with pistols. Not the raw damage. We're not finishing them off. Recoil.
increased damage to long way tar uh, to far away targets. There you go. That adds up to ten percent. And over here under body, I want to regen, but I think I, I sort of went overkill with the regen, to be honest. I want that falling damage, okay? I want my health regen in combat. I don't want attacks to interrupt my health regen. And, hmm, it regens faster as I move, sure. That'll save my life, probably. Sprinting and dodging do not drain stamina, yes. Increases health regen in combat by 30%. That's all very important. And the threshold. Uh, I'll do it one time. That's fine. And over here, health regenerates faster in combat. Just a bit. Okay, how about... Yeah, just a bit. And my melee damage is increased. Let's not worry about max health. I don't want to be knocked down. Let's not worry about that overall damage mitigation. Now with the shotgun, let's be careful here. I deal more damage to faster I'm moving, sure. But how does that work if I'm like... How does that work? <sighs> Whatever. Okay, uh, we're not entering combat with a shotgun, I'm sorry. Defeating an enemy with a shotgun. Uh, are we defeating an enemy with a shotgun? Higher chance of dismemberment. Meh. I'd rather knock them back, though. That's it. Let's just not worry about the rest. Street Brawler. There might be something in here that's good. Uh, I would like to, yes, reduce the target's armor. Well... Might be a waste. Too bad I can't undo, huh? Garbage. Because I want to not hit them all that much with the fist. Because I want to do more damage against full health targets. And punching them is really just to disable a target. It's not really to uh, do anything else. So that's sort of a waste. So, lesson learned. There we go. So again, I'll go faster. Let's go with the handguns. I want the headshot damage. The headshot damage. The far away distant damage. Boom. The headshot multiplier. The mitigation chance. No. Uh, distance. Right there. Consecutive shots. No. We're not finishing them off. Recoil. Bit chance. Reload time, draw time, raw damage, last round, shoot with pistols while dodging. Uh, nope. Crit chance is increased. Damage to heads increased. Crit damage increased. And. There it is. And. Because it has to kill them, people. It has to, has to, has to, has to. Everything else is garbage. Now with the blades, we're only focusing on just raw attack speed because we need that. Okay. And I want to do a ton of damage against targets with full health. And I want to heal. We're not worrying about bleeding at all. We're not worrying about um, weird counterattack things. Dodging increases damage by a lot. There. Defensive attacks do more damage. Uh, maybe. I'll think about it. Moving. Wielding a blade increases my armor. Yes. Stamina cost of all attacks. Maybe. Strong attacks do more damage. And dodging recover stamina. No. No bleed. No blood. Crit chance increase. And crit damage is increased. Yes. Combos can apply bleeding. Done. See, I don't want to run out of stamina halfway through battle. We'll just see how that flows. I'm not even sure how much I'm consuming. But we'll go from there. Okay, so the assault. Uh, there might be some sort of universal perk here. 
No, this is all rifle, 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 rifle. It's all rifle stuff. See, I don't need it. Okay, the blades are done. Reflexes, assault. Mm -hmm. Yep, sorry. Body, athletics, we need this. Health regeneration, combat. I don't want to be as tanky, maybe. Uh, health regeneration faster as I move. Let's just not worry about all the tanky stuff, okay? Sprinting and dodging does not drain stamina. Health regen regenerating combat. Yes. And uh, I'll do this one time for the health regeneration threshold. And health regeneration activates faster. I'll just do it one time. Maybe more than once. All the falling damage reduction. Melee damage increased. And we don't worry about all the stuff over here. Okay. Okay, Annihilation. We're using shotguns, but I really just want to knock them back. That's it. It'll come in handy sometimes. Yes, and that's it over here. And, um... Increases movement speed in combat by 5% when carrying a shotgun or light machine gun. I'll think about that, you know? I'll think about it. I just want to knock him back a little bit. And now over here with the cool stuff. Well, I do want to be able to loot the drones. Okay. And the damage taken from explosions. I'm sorry. We have to. That's what ends up killing me. This other stuff we don't care as much. Now for cool detection time. Uh, crit chance and pun in combat. Balance and fast and jump on their heads. No knives. Movement speed increase after takedown. Her headshot damage outside of combat. Yes. Immortal. And crouch attacks from stealth. Do more damage. And... Crit chance while sneaking and human damage. Ooh Movement speed increase when detected by an enemy. The rest is fine. Poison. Cold blood. We won't be stacked with cold blood all the way. Increase total stacks. Headshot damage increase per stack. And... I'm, I don't need this perk right here where crits have a chance to apply a stack of cold blood because... Well, maybe I do. Otherwise... Otherwise, if there's only one target, I'll only have one stack of cold blood after they wear off. So I have to. Okay. Increase the duration. And health regen inside and outside of combat per stack of cold blood. Yes. Armor per stack of cold blood. The legendary perk. Immortal. Weapon recoil per stack of cold blood. Yes, because in the middle of combat, I will really quickly shoot them. Attack speed, very important. And point blank weapon damage. Yes. Melee damage. Yes. Stacks of cold butter removed one by one. All damage is taken, uh, taken is reduced by 5%. So now we have 17 points remaining. Nice. Back over here. Again, so we're not using that. Over here, uh, reload time. It is sort of annoying. It would be kind of cool to go faster. The rate of fire is not important. Reloading is sort of important. Draw holster time is sort of important if I'm swapping back and forth. So let's spend five points here. We're not finishing them off, maybe. Okay, that's good. And now for blades again, we want reduce the stamina cost of all attacks so I can do the heavy attacks. And 
Recovers health if I hit an enemy that's already bleeding and my fists apply bleeding. Okay. And defensive attacks with the blades deal more damage. It's like the weird slidey thing. Combos have a higher chance to apply bleeding. And bleeding lasts longer. And longer. Dodging while wielding a blade recovers some stamina. Just a little bit, you know. Okay, and then we go back over here. More damage to enemies that are about to die. Why not? And back over here under body. Let's do these two perks. I don't want to be knocked down. Very important. And reduces all incoming damage by 10%. Cool. That's nice. And now we have all this garbage here. And in terms of my items, I think we're good to go. Quick hack cooldown. I'm looking at these effects of these items. Damage from explosions. Stamina consumption when blocking melee attacks. This one has an empty slot. And in that slot I can put something. I have no clothing mods. Bizarrely. I can probably craft a clothing mod. And I can. So I can craft... Great smart, resist. Negative effect duration. Let's do the armadillo. Oh, I resist. Yeah. So, back over. Let's put the resist in. Right there and right here. Yes, sir. Done. And we have the shades. Anything better than... Oh. We don't have a home except for the caravan. We don't have rights except for what we take. Flim and a flam, what do you say? Nomad gas mask. Uh, Santiago. Oh, this is the this is the, the the first nomad or the leader of the nomads that was part of that Atlantis group that blew up Arasaka Tower, yeah. Alright, cool. Alrighty. And then ooh, crit chance. That's what I care about. That's what I care about. And this chest piece, what do we have? Reload time reduction. We already have that. People. That's pretty good. Overall. This helmet, we're fine. The shoes. Pants. Nothing. Okay, good to go, good to go. My health. A bone. Ammo. All these things. Pistol. Rifle. We're not using rifle. I am using shotgun a little bit. We're at the max count. This should be fun. Hey there, Mars. How's it going? I just shifted my build over, and now we're good to go. I just swapped everything over, and it's just so awesome. I tell you what, I can't stand it. You see how I look? Oh, yes. Uh, well, sort of. So now I'm back to the sword, back to the pistol. I'm kind of iffy about this scope, though. I am very iffy about this scope. This is really for SMG. I don't want this scope. It's kind of sad. So, I'd, I'd rather have this other scope, the Hayakume. Because this one is more like a scope, as you can see. Or at least it feels more like a scope, even though it's about the same. Okay, then we have my shotgun here. This is going to shoot through walls, and it's pretty cool. And I'll shoot way over here, just so you can see what it's like. So the whole goal is to attack from the shadows using my pistol to get their heads. Okay, I'll be shooting them right in the head. 
and uh, clean them up with the sword, and then just for fun, and if I need to, the fists are more for sort of like humorously disabling a batch of enemies. So here we go. This is the compound full of enemies. In theory, there, there is a mechanic in here. Big Pete, I think. And people want him dead. And I'm the, I'm the man for that job. You don't see me. Nice. 35,000 damage. Okay. Let's just hustle over here. And get that guy. And that one. There appears to be a port, a porthole entrance in the back. Right over here. Is what there appears to be. But not really. Yeah, that's weird. Let's just enter the, the building. Head? Oh my gosh, you don't see me. You don't see me. I'm doing a, a, a clean job. I was hired. If Flim Flam hits the fan, then so be it. Done. I'll cut off your arms and your legs and make you like me. That's weird. Okay, we're sneaking around here. Boom. Slow motion. Flop. Flop. Oh, these guys are strong. These guys are pretty strong, actually. No, I gotta use shotgun. Whoa, 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 whoa. These guys are kind of crazy. Oh, wow, look at them go. We had some fun. Why not? Is that Big Pete? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Plop, 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 plop. And I'll dance around for a bit longer, and I'll get my fist or something. We have these turrets. Let me go yank this away. Yeah. Right now. This book to basically shut down his operations. That was fun. This, this operation is over. I was sent by the lady of the desert. I gotta recover the flim plan. Where's Big Pete still here? Water, Crim, and Blood, the fourth corporate war. Local network, surveillance system. Ah, messages. We got the stuff. Oh, yeah, Shandine. Yeah. 
So what is my mission? Oh, find Big Pete. Aha. Aha. Whoa, whoa, fuck! Don't shoot! Are, are you big uh, the rest of the crew? Wouldn't count on it. So I'm supposed to take the fall for a piece of shit jammer that don't even work? Sometimes it shines and sometimes it rains. Sound like my brother. Wait, you're the one who saved Tiny Mike. Don't change the subject. Mikey said you're a solid merc. Change your mind and I'll pay you. Kiss and see goodbye right after. I know you're broke. Might have read a convo between you and your brother. I know you're flat broke. That's old! Old news! I'm flush now! Let me go and I'll prove it. No can do. No can do. Sorry. Want to go? Huh? Pal. Right in the throat. Sorry, pal. Done. Okay, well, we're done here. Mission completed. We're in some weird basement, by the way. We're in some weird basement. Let's, let's check it out. Now. Oh, this was the secret exit. The secret exit. I did You're it. Tough as nails, V. Thank a you. A warrior without mercy. Thank you. Considered a contract fulfilled. Well done. Thank you. All right, back to what we're doing. Now for the other gig. So, all according to plan. Woo! Yep. So, let's see if we can go through here again. Are there drones? I think there's one over here. Oh yeah. Gotta love it. It's the hyperpolymer composite material. Now there might be more than one here. Yeah. Gotta love it. That's if I really want to farm this area, but there's, you know, six robots. Oh, thank you so much. But meet me halfway. Hey there, friend. Ooh. We're out in the desert today. Yay. Thank you. I said. I said. Thank you. Brought to you by Militech. We. Ooh, legendary. Do you see, Sebastian? Ooh. There's one more. Hey there, friend. Ooh. Annihilation and maybe engineering, please. 
No engineering. Please. This is the tech weapon. I'm trying to build my engineering skill now. I could use a tech precision rifle. I'm also thinking about getting a low grade uh, cyber deck. So I could need some minor hacking. Maybe. Hey. Very nice. Alright, let's go down to do this gig and then I'll move on with my life, huh? Yes. I'm done with this desert. You know? I think I'll go drive back by Pan Am. Just to be sort of immersed like I'm living out here in the desert. I've been out here in Jackson Plains learning quite a bit. It's pretty obvious when you're out here. It's like a big ring road. Biotechnica, Pacifica. So what is this facility to my right? We're, we're, we're about to go do it right now and then leave. It's world behind and face the truth. And go back to enemy marking. Enemy marking. Dakota. Please, I've got quite an unusual one for you. I need you to deliver Trevor Brass's remains to the address attached. The young life inside was snuffed out you by a Reed's bullet. Trevor's you. parents can't bury their son until he's back home. You can help make that happen. I have attached uh, all the info you need. Okay. So my mission... It's a merc needed SLS type, whatever. Find Trevor's remains and deliver them to his family. Okay, there's a popular saying amongst the Aldocados. She who lives in the hearts of her loved ones can never truly die. Trevor Brass might indeed live on in, in memory, but if he had just kept his flim flam plant and instead of dealing with race, he'd, he'd still be alive. Oh my gosh. I digress. Yesterday, a man of mine spotted Trevor's car at a wraith's nest. The car had more holes in it than it started out with, and the wraiths aren't known for taking prisoners. Oh no. Trevor's relatives, as I mentioned, belong to the Aldecados. They aren't just out for revenge. Oh no, they want to bury their son. They're not just out for revenge. So, it's okay if I kill them. Well, I was trying to, um... trying to interact with the mine, it wouldn't let me, so I'm now in the facility. I'll be taking them out one by one. Very cool. So I'm looking for his remains, but I'm also checking the whole place. They'll never know I'm here, never. Nobody. Body has been discovered. Oh my gosh. And now they know where I am. That's okay. Oh my gosh. Let's go. These guys are strong. They're strong. Oh my gosh. I will be healing with my sword. Are we good now? Oh no, we're not. Oh 
God, there it is. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. Cool. Are we done yet? I found a message. I found the message. These guys are nasty, aren't they? Very nasty. Okay, we're at this um, hotel bar and grill. We're looking for things. Short of those crazy old rates. Man cookbook from 2034. That possum. Okay. We ain't done yet. Let's go up top. And now we're looking for the body or whatever. We're looking for this remains. on the ground right there. Uh-huh. Nothing. Yay. We'll search the whole place. Search everything. Oh boy. Gotta search everything again. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Maybe. The weird compartment. Sealed off. Well, let's go right here. On the roof again, or in general. Okay. Well, let's go check this um, journal. Find his remains, find his body. We gotta find the body of the dude. In the darkness. Uh, what? Oh, I found it. I mean, I threw this whole place, but I didn't go in this room the entire time. Isn't that weird? Whoa. Ooh. A really good jacket. So we got the body. We now have the body. In slow motion or something. Got him. Ice cold. Let me call uh, one of my cars. Let me call the bandit.
Get into your car. Oh, there's a person waiting for me. Gotcha. After this, I'll be heading on down to Pan Am. All right, load him in the back. Yeah. Time to go home, Trevor. Like you care. Well, that was fun. We just learned a bit about Jackson Plains. And now let's head on down to Pan Am. V, Trevor's parents can finally give their boy a proper burial. Thank you. Thank you. Truly. Contract closed. Job well done. So right here, I'm going to turn on my, my uh, mini-map, okay? Turn on the mini-map, and I'll follow that however it wants me to go. All right. Stand Whoa. here. The sun is down, but I hope you're still up. Several independent studies have concluded that half of all manual laborers in Night City are expected to die before the age of seven. Yeah. If you have the strength, go to work. If you don't, you go People are starting to ask Either about me. The job or die of hunger. Okay, I think I can now get high value missions from the cooler. Here we go. All the way back across to go see Pan Am and everybody, and I'll sell them some weapons. You know, hang out with them, have a good time, you know what I mean? 180 miles per hour. Yeah. Get, not get too distracted here. It's quite right here. I'll be taking a right up here somewhere. Not for a while, though. Yep, nice, a nice ride across the shit, shit there. Yeah. Out of my way. Jeepers creepers. Sorry, fellas. Out of my way. Down to Rocky Ridge. Up through, um, whatever it's called. Red Ridge? Maybe it is Rocky Ridge, I don't know. But there's a left up here, this trailer park kind of area. Not that trailer park. This one over here. It's coming up here to the left a bit. Right past this spot. down this road here. The lone stretch of highway towards Pan Am's place with the avocados. We will continue on. Rocky Ridge. Let's not go this way. There's lots of... I was trying to take a shortcut, but there's lots of stuff out here. Ooh. It's a very drifty, fun time. Let's go back here. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Be careful here. Let's swing around this way. Yeah. 
Give it some gas. All the way down. Let's go this way. Until we get to the top of this hill, I can let go of the gas for a while. Let gravity carry us through. We still have a ways to go. And going much faster than it seems. to the end and then we hang a left. Sort of out here. Avocados towards this antenna. Well then, people, that was a nice ride, and we learned a lot. I shifted my build over, but I don't know. I don't want it to all be swords. You know what I mean? That's almost not all that much fun. You knew. Boom, bing, bang, and bang, and boom. Bang, and bang, and bang, bang. I might practice with the throwing knives. I haven't really messed with that as much. Boo -doo -boo -boo. Where's Pan Am? Where's Pan Am? Pan Am? Hey, what's up? Have you seen Pan Am? Hey, uh, y'all seen Pan Am? Hey, Pam. How's it going? Hugger. Depends on what the it is. Oh, yeah. And what you want to hear. Oh, you know, the huge. I longed for you, V. Oh, I see you've already played out this conversation all on your own. Force of habit. Pan Am. <laughs> I did, though. I missed you. All right. All right. Excuse me. I want to get an implant. Give me an implant. <laughs> All right, what do you got for me? Maybe there's a different tech weapon. I have to increase my engineering skill. Avocado. Hi there. Show me your wares. You know. I'm learning the game with this character, but I also have my other character, the one that is more of a net runner. But that that one can be sort of a fusion hybrid thing. You know what I mean? Doesn't spend a lot of time, but does all kinds of funky stuff. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I have this nice scope here, and that's about it. You will purchase my gear. You will purchase my clothing. You will. Yay, hey, thank you so much, friend. Thank you. It says right here, uh, combat cab. Combat cab. Why can't I see the combat cab? Show me the combat cab. This is garbage. 
you know? Fast traveling. That's just nonsense. That is just nonsense. Ecole. Or Sammy? Fast traveler. What are you, some sort of fast traveler? Wait, is there a bed here? Or just a stash? Oh, there is a bed. Cool. Right, we're going to bed now. I don't think there's coffee here. Which there probably should be. Alright, I like to leave at dawn. I'll be heading across the map to some other region. And I can do some of this quest stuff. Okay. Let's go knock out some of this quest stuff. Whoa! <gasps> she slept next to me. sit in this chair. Ah. Oh, yeah, my knees. Oh. Woo, not the best of views, but, you know. Ah. The color of the avocados would be OD green from the military because they're veterans. Quite a few of them are. And engineering yellow. Olive drab and so forth. All right. You could watch them. We're in some nomad camp. Hanging out, having a good old time. Be right back.
Hello. Yeah. <coughs> I was eating something. I ate some bread. Human bread. Alright, so. Who did this mission? I have to go to the afterlife for this big mission. Oh my gosh. Big deal. But I think first I'll go for this car. Alright. Oh yeah. I put the mini map back on, you know. You still with me, everybody? Maybe. Hmm? Hmm. Well, I've got to run for a while until I can call my vehicle. Now I'll call my motorcycle. Here we go. So we'll be going all the way across the world. Where am I even going? I'm not even sure. Where am I going? It cost ninety-nine thousand dollars. Wow. It's in Biotechnica. So along the way I'll be doing this gig. Okay. It's nice that I came back, you know. It's nice that I came back. It felt very immersive. Let's knock out these next missions here. right now. What time is it for you? I'll be live until the late morning. Right now it's about one, one, or it's about ooh, ooh, midnight. Wow. Oh yeah. off-road this much? Maybe. Yeah! Ouch! I'm moaning. I'm moaning. I'm moaning night city. Baby, you know. Oh, so you know. Oh, so you know. What? How you doing? Been all right. I was thinking. Can you drop by for dinner, maybe? Joss has worked up a hankering to cook for the family. Sure. How could I say no? Right. Great. See you at Joss's then. Woo! Sounds green. Yeah. It's gig time out here in this junkyard. It's a pretty impressive junkyard, huh? I say yes. Salvage from the landfill before some gonks chop it to pieces. 
I've attached some more details for you. All right. If you're still with me, give me a hi ho him holler holler him hey hi in the chat, please. We'll have a good time. Alright, so this is a gig type thievery. Objective is to retrieve data from the broken training bot. Over here is the Warbler Lake Hazardous Waste Facility, Anderson Street. There's this kid, folks call him Joe, Red Joe. Now, this Joe cared to have talent. He knows his hooks and jabs. I swear he, he can knock up a horse's teeth out. He, he's a fighter, you see. Now, I swear, he's strong and fast. Thick jabs. Agile. Back clipper. But the point is, the kids got what it takes to, to go pro. Now, the problem is, the coaches aren't easy to come by in the, in the Badlands. But lo and behold, word is that there's a next-gen sparring bot out there in the scrapyard. You know? It's pretty crazy. And they say it's still in working order. That city folk for you. Second, a, a piece of tech glitches that gets tossed out in the trash. Software included. Anyway, back to the bot. Find it and download its software before they recycle it into metal straws or whatever it is NC people like. P.S. Oh, and one more thing. The guy that runs the landfill, watch out for him. He's a real piece of work. They're saying, uh, watch out for him. Okay. I'm not supposed to murder everybody. We're just supposed to recover this equipment. This isn't a revenge mission. I don't have to kill them. There's two over there. Too fast for you. Too fast for you. Too fast for you. Grab Rangoon. fast for you. <laughs> Too fast for him. Go check out the camera system, maybe? Files, we have waste collection, petrochem, four cisterns, Arasaka waterfront, 70 tons of expired food, crazy stuff. Crazy messages, we have some garbage. Sparring partner. Oh, things are moving along. We have another shipment of reagents ready for disposal. Bunch of garbage. On the net, we have, whoa, shuttle dock. What's this? We have Smuggler's Cash. Samurai fan page. Wait. Shh. I'm not killing these people. They don't deserve to die. So. There we go. He's not dead.
if they want to fight me. Bloop! And whoa, oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Explosives. Explosives. I'm trying to build up my engineering score. Oh no. I tried to be cool about it, you know. I really did. Plop. Are we done here? I'm putting the item in the dead drop. It's not that far away. Depositing the job item now. Mission completed. Sure. No. No. All right. I can't say that went exactly how I would have liked, oh. but at least Red Joe has something to train with. And that's what matters. Oh, great. Contract closed. It was supposed to be, uh, stealth. Sometimes it's not entirely clear. She, she didn't want me to murder everybody entirely. You know? Oh, too bad. Too bad. She had three more jobs and they'll be revealed over time. But first, we're doing this other stuff. Let's go knock out this other gig. If you don't mind, and I'll be done with the desert for a little bit. Super awesome. Music. All this junk. I mean, why not? It's a whole lot of it. Hanging a left up here in a, in a bit. Pretty soon. By way of the right. way back down to that um, Jackson Plains area I was just at a second ago. Okay. So yeah. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I went over the thing. Wow. Oh yeah. Bit amount of jumping involved here. Yeah. All the way across. 
Whoa! The Bastion. Yeah, so I was all out there. Uh, we learned a lot, you know? Did some nice, fine exploration. And now we're about to hit up the Biotechnica portion of this jaunt. Watch out for the yucca plants, buddy. All those weird thorns and turn black. Alright, coming up around the corner. Let's slow it down a bit, okay? What the heck? Oh, it's too close to that hotel. The hotel is in between the Biotechnica garbage. Interesting. And the first portion of Biotechnica doesn't have an access. There you go. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Gas station. Let's check out Biotechnica. What do we got? What do we got? Oh no, we got a bunch of stuff. A bunch of containers. And a sign. And some street sweepers. Blocked off access. For the most part, let's go check out this. What's this? People lived here at one point. Ooh, this is what you call a hidden gem. Steel shard, street brawler, but I'm already maxed down. Tina R. Agron and Will Gunner. Listen, you got know-how and you're capable. And you're making eddies, and I respect that. Now listen up carefully. This is really important. Oh, they got meat. Look at that. Sorry. Look at that. There's veins. Veins. The veins, Maximus. All right. Uh, okay. For the most part, can we go up and over? Do they want me to? Answer is no. See, there's an invisible wall. Down where I came from, and we're going this way. All the way down. Hmm. Okay, I, I would like to inspect those areas. Let's 
Go back up to the right. Okay. Go check out the spot. I don't think there's anything back there, but we'll still check it out. Okay. This is all Biotechnica. Biotechnica, Biotechnica. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What is that? Ooh. What in the world is this, people? Uh, titanium solo tech gogs. Corporate wanted list. Samuel Morton, Militech. Personal information. Mail. 2039. Whoa. Whoa. But they tore out or something. Technica farm area. Let's go down to the end. All right. Okay, we're looking around. What is this? Hey, I need your help. I've lost contact with Benedict McAdams and the driver who was supposed to get him out of town. Head to the coordinates I gave you. See what you can find. Benedict More details McAdams. attached. Okay, so... Find Benedict M McAdams, location Clemens Street. If picture's worth no more and no less than their last promise, and I promised Bandit McAdams I'd, I'd get him out of town. Once he checked the job, dop, a, a job off for me. Bandit's one devil, devil of a pro. Just six hours in of taking the job and Councilman McLean's heartbeat for the last time. And that fish I'd had dangling on the line for too long. The risk of, of a slip-up was high, so before he set to it, Bandit installed a GPS in his biomon. The slickster didn't work alone, mind you. He had a driver, Jason Will Driver. The problem is, instead of hauling quick across the border, Jason went off route. Something here stinks. Find them, and bring me Benedict. Okay, so we have to go find this dude and his driver. There's something weird going on. Uh, 
Okay, okay. Huh. So, did you think it over? I'm listening. Well, of course. If you can't fit it in your budget. Too scary a sum for all those lightweights at Militech, I suppose. Nah, not gonna work. Better get going. Hear his skull calling for a bullet. No, not worth keeping him here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. What? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm paying attention. He's about to go execute the dude. Then you tell him either he pays my due or I scratch McAdams off the map for good. Oh, he's holding McAdams as ransom, hostage. This isn't a negotiation. You buy him or you don't. Oh my gosh. I got him. And I pull the turret off the thing. Okay, good. That's then let's go find the guy. That was sort of a boss fight. Access token. There might be more more uh, turrets. A jacket. Reward. Oh, there there's the bounty on him. A thief. If that makes sense. His driver was a rat. It's me. It's okay. A new face. Militech's been investing in young talent. Joe, you here to take me on a little field trip? Dakota sent me. I'm here on Dakota's behalf. For Christ's sakes, now you're telling me? I loathed this whole playing tough in the face of death thing. Let's go. All right, let's get you out of here. <sighs> Shit. I feel like I haven't used my legs for a straight month. Sorry, buddy. Let's go. You have to escape. Where are you going? Out the window. No. Out the window. No. I have the snares. That's a good-looking bike. Let me call one of my cars. I'll call the Autocado car. The Autocado car, you know? Come on, buddy. You know what I miss most in that basement? What? Booze. Six melons. Those sweet honey melons the colored folks got growing on genetic mismatch. Miles above any sin melons you can find. Okay. I sat there thinking what I wouldn't give one taste of that sweet, sweet melon. Of course, that prick Jason entertained the thought. Well, Technica. All right, so now we're delivering this dude back. We, we rescued somebody. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. It's a feature of technology and graphics and so forth. Whoa. Combat cat.
So what is the combat cap? We're here now, buddy. We're dropping the dude off. What? Hey, McAdams, over here. Starkey, it's been years. You look like shit. <laughs> I'm a bit indisposed. Looks like you'll have to be my chauffeur. This guy over here is barefoot. A V, FYI, Dakota's sending over your payment. Hey, thank Nova, you. Nova, thanks. Nova, have thanks. A good one. Preen. Bye. Awesome. Now, I can act like there's an animation of a combat cab picking me up. Whatever. All the way. All the way. I think it's crazy. Just, just drive straight. Let's just check my journal for what's available. There's no purchasable vehicles. Oh, there is still that one. And where is that car at? Oh, yes. Yes, that's the whole point. It was like a multitasking sort of situation. Me coming out here. Church, uh, cemetery. All right, I'm gonna spend a hundred thousand. Yeah, not too keen on the color scheme, but. 
pretty good looking. Body. All right, that's all done. Okay, and now we have to... Oh my gosh, we have to go down to the afterlife. Oh my gosh. Let's go down to the afterlife and talk to Nick first. And then I'll do the weird situation where I have to let Johnny Silverhand take over my body. I do like the yellow interior. And there's lots of dimension to this whole thing. It's really nice on the interior. Huh? How fast am I going? I, I have no idea where the speedometer is. One second. That's a problem. It could just be broken. Sometimes the speedometer doesn't show. Oh my gosh. What the heck? There's no visible speedometer. That's nuts. Wait a minute. Whoa. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Oh my gosh. Oh, Night City is a rough, rough place. Because I'm going 130 miles per hour is really the reason why. That's where the consequence when you go that fast, to be honest. <laughs> Whoa, this the end of Oh no, Pacifica. 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 That tunnel now. Oh no. I'll go with the flow of traffic a little bit. is scheduled to take place tomorrow. The 27-year-old confessed to the murder of 20... No. No. Well then. Now it's time for a break. Oh yeah. I'll go tell the people I'm live. Let's go tell the people I'm live. The game crashed. Last time, uh, my software, my streaming software crashed. The stream is still running, though. Yeah. Mm hmm
Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back, and we'll wait for this thing to roll. Huh? Yes. Hello. Okay, so we're waiting on this uh thing to come online on the game. You know. And I do have this map over here. We we could look at we could look at the map while we wait for the game to come online. So here's the map. I've marked all these spots earlier. I'll uncheck all those spots I marked. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. 
This is the edge of the Arasaka waterfront. Yes, it is. You can't get into the Kempeki Plaza. Oh, no. Okay, the game is almost ready. The game is coming up. I don't know if this road goes all the way down. It probably goes down underground and then curves through. Pretty sure it does. Uh, big red building. Not too sure what for. And we're back in. About to go do this mission. It'll push me through the uh, storyline a bit more. And it'll probably unlock some stuff for me. Nightcity.com And hail. You know, CD Projekt Red probably purchased the rights to uh, Cyberpunk from the Talsorian Games people. So I didn't even see any mention of that in that description there. All right, we're now we're driving in this crazy vehicle across town. Flying on through Pacifica. I was going through that tunnel. All the way across. This is a faster route. I was going the other way, you know? Yeah. Oh, hey look, there's the, the speed limit. I see the speed limit down there. It was invisible before. Maybe. Whoa. Slow it down some. Slow it down some. Hello, Night City. As always, your business is my business. Today we well, tackle friends. a homegrown giant in defense. You guessed it, Militech. At first glance, Militech's portfolio looks gold-plated. Half a million employees worldwide. Profits in the hundreds. Half a million employees. On the order of some oh my gosh. Trillion. But do we accept these jaw-dropping numbers as the product of healthy competition? I'm sorry. Being in bed with the authoritarian NUS. I was looking at the map. The line between Militech and the Feds has always been smooth. Excuse me. Excuse me. Elizabeth West. President of the NUSA. And who replaced Chris in the Oval Office? Rosalind Myers. Surprise, surprise. Militech's former CEO was responsible for over 60% of the world. It's not big crazy here. The NUSA is far and away their largest customer. Okay, let me swap out cars. I'll swap out cars. Or better yet, I'll go for uh, I'll go for the nice car. How about the nice car? There it is. Want my recommendation? Sell, sell, and sell some hey there, everybody, and good morning and to you, sure or whatever. Driving across town in this beautiful car. The city center. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Let me slow it down a bit, huh? So I'm heading to the afterlife for this sort of a sort of a really big mission. It's sort of a big deal. It's sort of a big deal. It's where I have to talk to Rogue, you know. About the secrets of myself and the consciousness inside. Excuse me. I'm desperately trying to become an expert here. Is that too much to ask? I'm going to park my car over here. Right over here. Yeah. we can go. I still have progression ahead of me. A whole lot. Never running on down to the afterlife. Go down the road. It's not that far away. I don't really have to use that shotgun, and I probably shouldn't use that shotgun. I think the Rebecca shotgun is just fine. But I'm really doing it to get that tech skill. I'm missing some engineering skill progression. There's still a skill point buried up in there. Just one more skill point for my build. In the afterlife. Here we go, people. Welcome back. Hey there, buddy. So, ready? Rogue should be here any minute. You're just gonna talk to Rogue, right? Okay, one more time. You're just gonna talk to Rogue about Smasher, right? Then you'll hand me the wheel and hop back in the passenger seat. That is the plan. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. You might even enjoy it. Actually, regretting this already. This is actually pretty funny. So this is a, a pretty good sequence if you want to watch it really quick. You ready? Okay. It's pretty funny. I'm ready. About fucking time. Look a little different. Fuss with your hair or... It's good to be back. Never knew you'd gone off somewhere. What's your poison? Tequila old fashioned. Top it up with beer. And sprinkle in some chili. Silverhand special. Been a while since anyone ordered that. So right now, I, I allowed Johnny Silverhand to take over his consciousness did, you know, so he can talk to Rogue, but he eventually, well, he immediately said, oh, great, it's, it's wonderful to be back.
Give me another. You got it. Here's Pencil. Pair is just being irresponsible at this point. You know what I need now? Know what I need now? Is it on the menu? Information. Cassius Ryder. He's still breathing. Tattoo guy? Haven't seen him in a good long while. Gonna have to check up on him yourself. Works in Watson down on Pershing. Cassius Ryder. Hmm. So what'll it be? Billy Goat or the other one? <laughs> uh, the other one. Other one. He's gonna love it. <laughs> sure he will. Jeremiah Grayson. I heard he's an operator for Smasher. But you didn't hear that from me. Hey, who are you again? Yeah, could say we had something in common. <laughs> Ruby Collins, sloppy second for Grayson, after I banged her. He's trying to get information. Simone! Simone! <laughs> Más rápido! <laughs> Gross shots of vodka. Vodka whiskey. Yeah. I win. <laughs> Whoa. Left or right? <laughs> Think I got something better. Hey, you Ruby. What? You've heard about me? Let's get out of here. Tell you what I heard. Then you'll show me if I'm right. Whoa. Just got a little biz to take care of first. Whoa. Oh, bro. Yo! Stop taking the pills. Get your fucking paws off Ruby. She ain't going anywhere with you. She's on that clock. Got it? Ugh. Fuck, I missed this. Be waiting outside. <laughs> you waiting for me? I go back to my place. <laughs> Just steal a random car. Take the long way. Look good on you. Got a light? Oh my. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god! Ah! 
She crashed. Oh no. Fuck. You gotta die. Ruby. Maybe I'll call. I'll call. Ruby, focus. I need to talk to Grayson. <laughs> Another pill, stop it! Hello, Night City! This guy's a bad guy. Trusted him. Going, he's running amok. Running amok. V. Oh, it's rogue or something. Spit blood first thing every morning. Oh, no. Talk about something else, please. Sure. sure. First time you walked up, since there was something familiar about you. Blah, blah, Johnny told you. Uh, did we, uh... Did we, uh... You know. No. Gonk was too drunk. He called me early morning. Of course, I thought it was you. And I thought, cute kid. Too bad he's gone completely whacked. Came to see for yourself, huh? Uh -huh. Morbid curiosity. Mm-hmm. And I found Johnny Silverhand. <laughs> Smasher. He tell you about him? Yes. Didn't know he'd come back to NC. Johnny found some way to get at him. Wait. Grayson. Jeremiah Grayson works for Smasher. Johnny got a tip off some stripper, don't ask me how. Ebonike. Just that. Still, let me see what I can do. We're gonna get that son of a bitch. Yeah. You know what Smasher's been doing the whole time? You know what Smasher's been up to all this time? Disappeared after the Sokka Tower assault in 2023. All thought he was gone for good. Then suddenly reappeared. Did a few Mondo jobs for Arasaka, then went right back to ground. Nobody's seen him in years. Except Grayson, yeah. apparently. Need some help with it? Can I help at all? Uh... In your state? <laughs> You're useless. Almost. Holo buzz you when I learn something. Okay. Mm -mm. <laughs> Unbelievable that bastard's somewhere in your head. <laughs> so cool. Oh, my legs. <laughs> <coughs> 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 pills would lay you out like this maybe it wouldn't be bad if you hadn't chased them down with fuck knows what a million shots of garbage you tricked me just supposed to talk to rogue did talk to her and the stripper empathy brawl tattoo <laughs> all required man had to give rogue something real didn't i Hmm. Ebunike? A lead on Grayson supposed to be a lead on Smasher? Lead to lead. That's real? Real enough for Rogue. Quit mumble whining and let's Delta. Let's Delta. Okay. Eh, eh. Mumble whining. The hell hey, is this, this place? It's my apartment. Place where you can puke all over the carpet. No problem. 
beggar, not chooser. I live here. I live right there. Shut up. All right. Well, well, well. And now, wait a day for Rogue to call. That's cool. Oh. Let's go do this other mission. So, feeling better? No. Get my motorcycle. We're heading on down to the afterlife right now. I'm not stopping for enemies. I don't really need to right now. Maybe, maybe if I get broke again, if I spend all my money. Maybe. Let's go this way, please. Right on into the afterlife, you see. Up around that corner. Just like food. Don't you know? We'll talk to Nick about this uh, Raish Bart Moss fiber deck situation. Hey, V. Good to see you. How's it going? Pretty good. How's business? This is booming, I hope. Seeing it yourself. Can't complain. Folks always get thirsty, and we're here when they do. Oh, yeah. V! Hey, come here, let's talk. Sure. Hey there. So, so guess what I found? Bart Moss's deck. Hey, Nix, listen. Found something. Bart Moss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? Alan Turing's tapes. Check it out. Being serious. Have a look. Check it see. out. Ooh, running shit. God damn, V. Where'd you ferret this out of? Bridge. Found it outside town, in a fridge, next to its former owner's rotting corpse. Wow. <laughs> Bart Moss all the way. Netwatch made him a wanted man. Went looking in Shanghai, Lahore, Santiago de Chile. Yeah. While that dog alighted to the net. Wonder how long he'd have kept buzzing those wires if the power hadn't gone out. Think mm. he could pull anything off it? Hmm. So in theory, he apart. kept his Humidity body damaged. in that fridge alive on for a, a bit. Living on line Gotta be until near he divide. died. Spare me the two-step, yes yeah. or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. Oh, fine, get to no it. No risk, no reward. Get to it. Get to it. Okay. Put the deck on the counter. Just ginger like. Bam. Blaming Bart Moss by Bugbear. When I imagine the net was like before Bart Moss, I see thousands of potential threats and thousands of opportunities. Of course, the whole system was unstable. Corporal runners were pulling one way. Post-war rogue AIs pulling their other. Financial markets tanked, and so forth and so on. All yours. All yours? Oh, V. V. Got no sense of reverence. Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail... You'd fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. <laughs> now, 
Let's get this show underway. Hmm. Hmm. Most data's corrupt. Oh, no. But not all. Password. A dict attack, maybe. Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. Of all people, Bart Ma should have done better. Oh, no. <laughs> and he <laughs> did. Dog shit, cat shit, rat shit! Ideas, V. Fast and stat. Couple of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done stick. Uh. Okay. It can't be that difficult, can it? Sim, Use sure. Network. Uh -huh. Deck only belonged to the 21st century's yep. most and then superb I hacker. Want to do this? Uh, no, Bravo Delta Echo 9 five, five, seven, Alpha. Bravo Delta Echo 9 five, five, seven, Alpha. <laughs> Got it. Gotcha. Are you okay? Oh, fuck a muffin. You breathing? Apparently. Though it feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just... What the hell happened? You started convulsing. Lights went out. Outlets started spitting sparks. So wow. I sat down and finished for you. Hold up, hold up. Mean to say, you reached Bob Ma's deck? Lowly you? Lowly me. Got lucky. Guess I got a little lucky. Had luck coming out your ears, kid. Alright. Let's see just what you pulled from this artifact. Logs. Mail. Chat history of sorts. Mm. Potentially interesting. But nothing explosive. Shame. Kinda. Well... I guess I could delve some more, see if I can't find something interesting in there. Uh. Listen, my services usually command a tidy sum, but this time, well, seems you rendered me a service. Sure. Take this. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bart Moss who coded them, but they should be useful nonetheless. Maybe. Thanks, Nix. You gonna get it together? Be all right? So I think about we'll swapping out my Sandevistan for... No, no. One of the other uh, couple of painkillers washed down with whiskey. Some sort of I'll be a new man. Low tier cyber deck. But I have three intelligence. That's all done, yeah. V, hey, come here, let's talk. Okay. We have guns. The arm holding up. Ah, oh, V, such a tender soul you are. Come on, Tiny. I'm being serious. Well, after paying you and Regina your due, I still had Eddie's in the bank for this bad boy. So yeah, I'd say the arm's fine. Well, if you ever need help with something, just give me a holler. Let's not get too cocky, all right? You did Regina and I both a favor. Not like we're about to forget that anytime soon. Nope. Life of a Merc's got its ups and downs. Next time it'll be me pulling you out of some colossal fuck up. Right. So long as I got the Eddies on me. Right? <laughs> Ain't wrong. All right, I'll sit down. Jeez. You get a drink. Sure, but tongue's feeling a bit stiff. Toss him back first. With you, anytime. Yay, mayhem flows. And now. Alright, goodbye. Oh, wait, so you're able to. Have shots. In theory, if I sit down, I'll have another shot. Maybe. Toss one back with you in time. No. Now we're done. Well, that sucks. Well, we're done here. 
Memorizing everything, memorizing everything. Expert. Ah, uh, yes, in the bright sunshine, we find ourselves following the river, chipping in. Wait a day. Okay, now we have to go down to River's house. All the way down to River's house. All the way down to the spot. So I'm gonna use the quote unquote combat cab. I'm gonna imagine like it's picking me up. It's this combat cab. I'm gonna imagine like it's picking me up and flying me far away. Please give me an animation or something. Like right here. I'm imagining it flying around. It's a flying car. And we're here. Go check out this clothing store. Hey there. What do you have? Garbage. I sort of like the LMG and Glam combo. I'm trying to find the best combination of items and everything. Now I might try, uh, I might start a grounded session coming up, people. Just so you know, because the update did get released, so I might, I might start doing that. Possibility. Okay. I'm just afraid it'll take up all my time. And I will be starting from scratch. But will I be? Huh. I think it was here. Do you think what was here? What, the iguana or something? Hmm. Hmm. What's up with these black cars? I'm not sure what, what my character said that just now. Why? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's do it. I'll wait. Jeez. Okay. Waiting. Waiting. Stand up. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey. What up? Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Over here. Glad you're yeah. here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Um, soy meat. Okay. Dunno. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. Hmm. This an ancient ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. <laughs> I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. I'm stirring. So, Peter Pan. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask, what about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. Mm. We'll talk later, okay? 
Sure. No pressure. It's just I, uh... You know. I know. We have All to right. do it. We have Think to do it. Think you stirred enough? Oh, no. Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's they always been that you. way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. In those That's words, yeah. Nice. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. Okay. When can I visit again? I want to get done with this mission, dang it. That's great. I really want Tomatoes to in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Sorry. The rice is in. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Huge help. Okay, and now what? Yes. Talk again soon. We sit a chair there and have a beer. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Is it nice out here? Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. Tell you later. I paid him a visit at the hospital. You killed him. Drink. Drink. Kill him. You flatline him. I wasn't sure that was what I really wanted. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? How my parents died. Sure, you want to hear this? Uh, nah. You know, probably not the best time now. We were gonna do the nice, relaxing thing. Uh, sounds heavy. This. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just, Harris, what did you do? <laughs> Had the gun to his head and. I've ended a few lives in my time, but never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. PI? Oh no. A blip. A blip. No. Oh no. Ugh, I gotta do that quest over again. Gosh. I had a blip in my network for a second. My apologies. Analyzing network. Analyzing network. Analyzing network. Connecting. It'll probably resume my previous game or something. Maybe. Uh, try again, they say. <sighs> We're down at the edge of the game. It's almost over. It's starting to feel sad, you know. Connecting. Uh. Hmm. Well, I guess we might be done right now. I might come back with um some grounded or something. I don't know. What's wrong? I might have to close out and restart it. 
Alright, let's close out and restart the bad boy. Mm -hmm. Real quick. Real quick. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, there it is. <laughs> and go. What? What? I've, I've tried to play too many games in a short period of time. Please wait. What are you talking about? Okay, well, I guess we're done. So I'll be back with some grounded, or right? Or, I don't know. Will I be? Maybe. Probably more cyberpunk. One of the two. Either way, I'll be back in like an uh, hour and a half at 3 a.m. Right now it's 1.17 a.m. I'll be back and we'll continue on. All right. I don't want to stop just yet with this game. I will be converting over to something else eventually. Oh, look. Dead Island 2 is available on the GeForce Now platform. It came out on the 21st of April. I could do Dead Island 2. Online multiplayer. I'll I'll think about doing Dead Island 2. I don't know. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. Either way, I'll be back at 3 a.m. Okay? Goodbye. Live in uh, a bit or something. Goodbye.